Viral Science, the home of creativity. So friends, this is our IoT project that is Smart Plant Monitoring System. So over the screen you can see the soil moisture, temperature, humidity and you can control the water flow with your smartphone from anywhere around the world. So to demonstrate you, I am not using any water inlet with this solenoid well as we are just demonstrating this system and I am also not using any soil as I cannot bring that over here. So I am using a bowl of water to demonstrate the soil. So now let's power this whole system and let's see how it works. So as you can see everything is powered on. So now we have received a message that is water your plants. Uh, it is because we have not placed this sensor inside the bowl so it has not detected any moisture so we have got this message it's an alert system if the moisture inside the soil is reduced we will get such messages and we can turn on the water source and water our plants so we'll click ok as you can see the reading that is 1024 right now and as I place this sensor inside the water you can see the reduction in the readings that is 642 644 so as you can see now it is detecting water moisture so it has reduced the readings and if you want to water your plants you can just click on this button that is water button as soon as i click this button the relay turns on it turns on our water solenoid valve and the water will start flowing from this valve to our plant as soon as this readings will be reduced you can turn it off and the water will be stopped you can see the real time temperature which is detected by this dht11 sensor you can see 27.7 degrees and 88 humidity so this is how this system works so for this project you will need a node mcu board this is soil moisture sensor this is DHT11 temperature humidity sensor then a relay module a solenoid water valve 12 volt power supply for the valve breadboard and some wires now follow this circuit diagram and make your connections
Before uploading the code, we will build our application. So download the Blink application on your smartphone. Select new project, give your project a name, I am giving IoT plant monitoring. Select the NodeMC board and click on create. Now first we will add 3 gauge to display our values. Then we will add a button and now we will add a timer. Now you can resize and arrange everything on your screen. Now we will select the first gauge and name it soil moisture. We will select virtual 2 pin, give it 0 to 100 value and set it on 1 second auto update timer. We will select the color and we will do the same thing for rest of 3. The second one is temperature with virtual 6 pin 0 to 100 and we will update it um, from push to 1 second. Similarly we will do for humidity. So we will select virtual 5th pin and from push we will select 1 second. Now we will go to settings of button, we will give it a name water, we will select the digital pin 0 and we will select to switch and if you want you can change the color and the shape of the button and we will go to the settings of the timer and we will also select D0 over here, you can set the on and off time for the motor that is the relay according to your need so we are done with the application part and now we'll move to coding so friends this is the code of our today's project so you just have to enter your authentication token sent to us by the blink application your wi-fi name and your wi-fi password so a blink token will be sent by the blink application just copy and paste it in the code Now enter your Wi-Fi name and enter the Wi-Fi password. That's it. Now we'll select the board that is NodeMCU12E. So I can find my board over here and then we'll select the port that is communication port 6. Now we'll simply upload the code. So friends I hope you like this video then hit the thumbs up button below share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I will see you in the next one Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video